listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hello everyone. This is the Aqua FX. Uh, the octopus, basically. So Aqua FX is located out of Winter Park, Florida. So I decided to go ahead and upgrade my RODI unit. For the simple fact, I want to be able to at least make 150 gallons in half the time. Meaning, right now I have a unit that's 150 gallons, and it takes basically a full day to make that, okay? I want to be able to make that in half a day, not a full day. So at least, you know, I'm getting a lot more for uh, valuable water because the beast needs it, you know? This system is going to be receiving water changes and all that good stuff on a regular basis. So I reached out to them after doing some research. A lot of you guys really like the Aqua FX product line. So I reached out, talked to them, told them what I needed, told them what I'm trying to do, and they went ahead and built me this. So this is for my application, uh, for what I need. If you guys need anything, reach out to them. You'll also receive 10% uh, discount for just telling them my name that you follow my channel, which is awesome. So with this, I normally run two DI units. This one I could have asked for two. I chose not to because kind of, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to replacing or rotating, should I say, my DI stages, okay? And because of that, that's basically, you're just, you know, pouring money down the drain. Basically, if you do not rotate, meaning when the first chamber comes depleted, uh, basically it starts leaching everything into the second chamber and rapidly depe depletes the second chamber, which is no good because DI resin is not that cheap. So I figured one would do me good and it would keep me on my game, what I need to be doing and not just wasting money. So it also comes with a booster pump, even though I have roughly a 92 to 93 PSI, which is really good for a home. A lot of homes and a lot of people don't quite get that kind of PSI. But this booster pump is to make sure I stay consistent when the unit kicks on, exactly wherever I need to set it at. If it's too hot, all I have to do is put an Allen key in here, back it off a little bit, uh, and, and watch where my PSI is and keep it there so it stays consistent. With that being said, it comes on with the uh, comes with the computer also, which is going to tell me when it's full, flushing, uh, working, the source, meaning when TDS, it tell me my TDS, when I'm going to need to start thinking about changing my membranes, which are three membranes, three 100 gallon per day membranes in this unit. Also, when the system kicks on, it does an automatic flush. So it flushes before it starts making water, and when it ends, it does the same thing again. It flushes before it shuts down, which on the other unit, I have to manually do it. This web boy will go ahead and do it itself. So with that being said, let's get to it. Let me show you how I'm gonna install it and run, and, and as I'm talking through the video, uh, let you know exactly what my thoughts were and what I d decided to do ultimately. So let's go. All right, everyone. Got my Aqua FX unit outside. Decided to install it in a different way. My old unit was bolted to the wall. And because of the new build and how I'm running the new frag tanks and all that, uh, it made it a little bit difficult to actually get to, to actually change out any of the, you know, carbon filters or anything like that. So I decided to go ahead and build something since it was a nice sunny day out. And basically keep my unit up off the wall and give me, you know, something closer and easier to work with. My old unit was actually sliding left of this board. So now it's closer for me to work on, and it was really simple. I just bolted it to my floor joists, as you can see right here in this video. Made it 10 times easier. 
um, didn't have to use a masonry bit or anything like that, you know, to bolt it back into the concrete wall. Said, hey, you know, why not keep it simple? So that's what I decided to do. Now it's time to get this unit up. I need to find exactly <laughs> where all the holes are located, which, you know, the unit's really not that light. So just me trying to hold it up get my straight line, figure out what all my holes are, pre-drill pre -drill all the holes, get my screws in, and, you know, try and pray that I did it right, which I did screw up on one. And I had to, you know, take the unit back off, unscrew it, bump it over just a little bit, one screw, and voila we actually have it hanging. So went ahead, started putting in my lines to get ready to start running water. But first we're gonna have to flush my membranes. So I did notice we, after I did this part and I turned on the water, we did have a little bit of a leak to uh, one of the connections went and fully pushed in all the way or they probably got bombed up also i had to adjust this psi my psi actually was really high and so as you can see me messing with the threaded screw and the booster pump right there uh, using the allen key to make my final adjustments it was all ready to go so wasn't too hard wasn't too much work it was actually quite simple and I must say, she looks like a beauty. All right, everyone, she's finally done. She's, you know, working in operating mode. I hooked up all my lines, got everything in, had a small hiccup, couldn't figure out how to adjust the P PSI. Um, you can adjust here with the pump, but this also adjusts the PSI. So depending on how far you, you, you have it all the way open when you're initially starting this system and then slowly uh, screw it in and then that will adjust your PSI as well as long as with this. It was honestly quite simple. It was already pretty much put together. I did have to install my membranes myself. I actually flush. And when you flush it after you install your membranes, it's quite simple. Take your waistline, hook it up to this flush line here, um, have it open. So when you're doing the flush of your new membranes, you're not getting the stuff that's coming off going over to your DI resin and rapidly depleting it or using it up really fast. Once that's done, I probably did that for about eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes. That might be a little too long but I like to be safe and sorry. Shut the valve off, disconnect it, the waistline, and hook it back to where it belonged. It was really easy, like I said. So with that being said, I definitely love the unit. If in the future I need to upgrade or get a complete new one, I'll definitely be hitting up Aqua FX. Why? Just for the simple fact, man, it was just easy to work with. Cool cats, you know, it just I just sold down to earth. So just because of those reasons alone, they forever got my business. And yeah, I'm gonna continue to use their units. Now they, they get into some commercial grade stuff too. So it doesn't matter. They have something for your application. So make sure you guys check them out. Also, real quick, we're coming up on 10k uh, subscribers. Yeah, we've been nailing it. We've been kicking butt on that. So don't forget, I'll link the video for that because I'm giving away two things, a Flood Guardian and a Neptune ATK unit. You don't have to have the Apex uh, to run it. It can be ran as a standalone. So watch the video. I'm going to put right up in here somewhere. Watch the video. And don't forget to uh, get involved in that. Your chance to, you know, receive one of those things so i'm going to end the video here i think it's been long enough i don't want to drag it out too much longer 
With that being said, this is Rico, Rico's Aquarius. The next time, peace.